Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got these five congruent rectangles that form a big rectangle as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the width of this big rectangle is five units. And now we are going to find the area of each small rectangles. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. So let's focus on these small congruent rectangles. Suppose their length be x and the width be y. So once again, these x are our lengths, all right? And the y's are our widths, as you can see over here. Now let's focus on the width of this big rectangle, this width, which is equal to x plus y, and this is also equal to 5. So therefore, I can write this one as x plus y equal to 5. And now let's focus on the length of this big rectangle, which is y plus y plus y makes 3y. And over here on this side, over here, the length of this very same rectangle is going to be x plus x. That is going to make 2 x since these are both are the lengths so that means 3y turns out to be equal to 2x so i can write the second equation is going to become 2x equal to 3y and now we are going to solve for x and y and now let me go ahead and call this first equation as equation number one. And this second I'm going to call equation number two. And now let's focus on this equation number two. And here I have copied down 2x equal to 3y. Let's solve for x. So I'm going to divide both sides by two. So that means our x value turns out to be 3y divided by 2. And now we are going to put this x equal to 3y divided by 2 value in this equation 1. So wherever we see x, I am going to replace it by 3y divided by 2. So therefore, we are going to have 3y divided by 2 plus y equals to 5. Let's solve for y now. Now let's go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 across the board. So this 2 and 2 is gone. So we got 3y and this become plus 2y equals to 10. And now 3y plus 2y becomes 5y equals to 10. So that means our y value turns out to be 2. Now let's put this y equals to 2 value in this equation 1. So that is x plus 2 equal to 5. That gives us x equal to 3 value. So thus our x value turns out to be 3 and y value turns out to be 2. So thus we conclude that the length of this small rectangle turns out to be 3 units and the width is 2. Now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this small rectangle. And here's the area of a rectangle formula, area equal to length time width. So area is going to be in our case, length is 3 and width is 2. So that's going to be a 3 times 2. So area turns out to be 6 square units. So thus the area of each small rectangle turns out to be 6 square units. 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.